Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, Shadow Mira has not yet joined us. Oh, there he is. Okay. But here we are. So, I've done a few things, and I just remembered I'm not done yet. We... I went and I dumped a bunch of my stuff. But also, not only did I, bun did I dump a bunch of my stuff, I also went and, and I took that dwarven block to a... Oh. Labyrinthian Discovered. This place is massive. Yeah, um, I took the Dwemer block to a smelter. And, and yeah, sure enough, you can get five... Oh, crap. You can get five Dwarven Metal Ingots out of... Out of one of those Dwarven blocks. I'd never done that before, so that's really cool. But I did... Oh, Shadowmere's jumping off a cliff! Shadowmere's okay. <laughs> And there's a giant around here. The giant's fine, right? Okay, yeah, good. I can wait. Yeah, I need to go do one more thing. Because yeah, I wanted to set us up next to Labyrinthian. So we didn't spend a whole lot of time traveling. But I just remembered something. And I'll let you know in a minute. What it is. We are, go we are back here. We're in Dragon's Reach. I need to talk to an old, an old condescending pal of ours. Faringar, wherever he is. Mr. Secret Fire. Oh, he's probably sleeping. Ah, here he is. Yep, he's fast asleep. Wake up. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, <laughs> like the rest of the great warriors. Yes, exactly. I wake him up because, Faringar, I have to talk about these hostilities with you. What have you got for hmm. sale? I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Okay, I need a better destruction firebolt. Is that what I want? I don't want fire rune, firebolt, flames. I already have flames. I believe isn't there firebolt and fireball? I think fireball is a much bigger whatever. Okay, yeah, uh give me firebolt. God, jeez, far 255 gold. <sighs> Alright, can I sell him anything to kind of get that back? Yeah, let's sell him the ethereal crown. I'm just kidding. I would never sell that. <laughs> uh, he likes... I got a lot of jewelry he would like. Oh my gosh, my jester robes... Jester robes are worthless to him. Uh, 400 gold. No, I, I like all my stuff. Robes of destruction, 21 gold. Really? Um, Robes of Minor Conjuration, 9. Ah, uh, whatever. We're sitting on 20,000 gold, ladies and gentlemen. It's fine. You know, if you've got the aptitude... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. He's always on about the Mage's College in Winterhold. Which is a great place. Aside from there, <gasps> Farngar has not heard the news that our... our wonderful apprentice... Uh, our wonderful apprentice... our wonderful Archmage has just passed. Okay, good. Yeah, this is an apprentice level spell. Let's favorite that. We're going to go into our level up. How are we doing? Uh, let's increase magicka. Oh, we have another increase. Mm. Let's do... I feel like I've been doing pretty good in my battles, especially with Lydia with me. I probably don't need too much health. Magicka again. Okay, we have three perks, and we're at level 20, almost at level 21. Destruction magic. Novice destruction levels. Spells cost half magicka. Let's go up to Apprentice. Apprentice level destruction spells cost half magicka. Oh! Okay, yeah, good. I can do this. Yeah, yeah, we have two perks left. What is the fire path? I'm trying to... It's jumping all around. Uh, fire spells do 25% more damage. Requires 30, though. Yeah, while I'm at the College of Winterhold, I'm kind of going... Uh, what am I thinking about? I'm going... Um, I'm going to practice my sorcery. Yeah, let's try a firebolt. 
Am I going to get in trouble if I cast a fireball in the city? Oh, it's already equipped it. Nice! And then I bet... I bet it's also a thing I can also dual cast it. That takes a decent amount of, of magicka. Isn't there a dual casting thing? Yeah, destruction dual casting. Overcharges the spell into an even more powerful version. Impact. Most destruction spells will stagger an opponent when dual casted. When dual cast. Ah, I don't know if I want to throw a perk into this or not. I don't know. We'll see. All right, back to Labyrinthian. Because I already know we're going to hit Frost Trolls. If I remember correctly, there's always Frost Trolls in Labyrinthian. All right, so I want to have Firebolt in one hand, and I want to do... Let's get Addy ready. Flame Atronach. Okay. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're in, we're in Labyrinthian. It's snowy. It's this... It's definitely like the ruins of a kingdom. This place is huge. And and we have an enemy already, and I don't know where they are. There he is. Yep, Frost Troll. Knew it. Alright, we got Addy here. Let's see what this fireball does. That fireball, it, it was fine, even though I don't know if it was me or if it was Lydia that hit him. Jeez, okay. Okay, right, well, Addy's fireball just threw him across the the base here. Good job, Addy. Good job. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I, I've mentioned before, this is a really awesome place. I, and so I really want to explore... Oh my gosh, another... Another frost troll, really? Can I shoot this at, at distance? Oh, crap. He's evading all of my fireballs. I can't... I can't tell if I'm doing any damage. Okay, Lydia's down and he's chasing after me. Addy's fireballs are ridiculously powerful. They keep throwing the frost trolls. Alright, so let's quick save. There's another frost troll down. Yeah, um, I'm going off to the right on the lower level here, and there are these little stone canopy things. Um, these were probably maybe a base, or just like a little place of solace for uh, for soldiers guarding Labyrinthian. Oh, I see another frost troll f so far in the distance. If I got my bow out, how far can I hit this guy? He's so far away. I, I'm aiming maybe like 10 feet above his head. I got his attention. Shadow... Shadow Mirror's way up on the top here. What are you doing? Is that a sheep? Oh! <gasps> Guys, okay, so way up at the top of the massive staircase here of Labyrinthian, there's a ghost way up at the top. I wonder if he's going to be an escort of mine. But I'm looking but I'm looking out over this perch over Skyrim and man, it's a it's a beautiful winter wonderland out here. Even though it's not Christmas anymore, I'm so ready. I I really only care about snow on Christmas and then maybe one good snowfall in in January, and then I'm ready for it to get back into the warmer weather. There's a long bow out on this perch. This place is so cool. It's it's such a okay. There is there there's the frost roll. Okay, he's right in front of me. We're we're walking on the outer wall here. I got him. I hit him. I got his attention. I hit him again. Hit him again. Okay, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting this guy. But yeah, just like beware, because I'm about to run like a baby here in about three seconds. 
Okay, that's enough. Go, 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 go. Lydia's got him. Where's Addy? Addy, 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 Addy. All right, and I got my fireball. Lydia killed him. Now, now, this was not all Lydia, okay? I did a lot of work here. Yeah, I am running. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are, we are running along the outer wall now to the other side of the base area. And there is one thing in here that I really... There are two things in here that I really want to look at. We might look at both of them here in this Let's Play. Oh, what is this? It's a little door entrance. Lost... Valkig. Okay. So, yeah, th that, that's a whole separate part of Labyrinthian. I don't think I've ever fully explored this place fully. But yeah, I think I know where I want to go next. This is... This is the other entrance. I'm, I'm running to the other side of this whole place, and, and there's this massive staircase that leads down into Labyrinthian. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. Ooh, another frost troll. Okay, Lydia, where'd you go? This place is infested with frost trolls. Where is he? Okay, yeah, that was all me, and that did a pretty good amount of damage. My firebolts here. My destruction leveled up! Ah, yes, perfect. <gasps> I got a kill animation with my firebolt. Ha, that was mine, Addy. Get out of here. So much troll fat. But yeah, but yeah, this is the other entrance. Um, <clears throat> and what I was saying was, it definitely makes sense. If this was, if this was the gathering place for all the dragon priests, it definitely makes sense that it would be some sort of a palace. Because it, it definitely is, ladies and gentlemen. It's huge. Shadowmare is standing on the far wall. <laughs> he, he's just standing there, just hanging out. All right, I got a couple of urns here, some gold, a potion of minor magicka. Some more gold, just little bits of gold. We have 20,000 gold, ladies and gentlemen. I've, I, I've, I've just been dumping all my stuff at, in the Dawnstar Sanctuary. But we absolutely could buy a house. Okay, I think this is, this is one of the great mysteries ladies and gentlemen it's the squat mound of a building um kind of in the center between the two entrances gonna go on in here we're in the center bit okay okay so let's see what we have here we have some sort of shrine across the way And there's some sort of pillar mechanism. It kind of looks like a like a little miniature word wall with these with one, two, three, four, five little statues. It's kind of in ruins. And we have a skeleton. A note and a wooden mask. Let's see what the note says. The note. The note is called. Oh gosh. Okay. There is a good bit to the note. Let's see. <clears throat> it seemed like an easy enough job. Graz <laughs> and me done done pretty like it before. Done plenty like it before. Some chinless Breton wanted bodyguards for, for a trip into the mountains. Fine. Easy clink for us. He goes on about this twice forsaken mask of his the whole way, of course. Got a pretty good laugh when Graz snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. Not smart out here on your own. He realized that right fast and shut up about paying. And shut up about not paying. So we get here. He, he thumbs through some papers and mutters to himself. Never you mind that. Me and, me and Graz had to cut through 
10 stinking trolls just to get him here, and without so much as a warning, poof. He put on that mask and vanished. He could have put my hands, <laughs> could have put my hands on his throat. What? Could have put my hands on his throat one moment, and the next he's, he, he's not so much as thin air. Well, after a while, we and we didn't know what to do, and Graz pick, um, picks up her gear and head to to head home. When he poofs back, that mask in his hand. Uh, okay, <laughs> sorry, Lisa. Um, um, that was all one sentence. That was a lot. Like, there's like five commas. Okay begs us not to leave. He says he needs us to wait. This is what he's paying us for. Then puts the mask back um, back on his sorry face and he's gone again. I'd seen cloaks do, do invisibility before, but a few swings of my fist prove he wasn't pulling that one. Nothing there to hit. He shows up again, tells, tells us he needs more time. He has to figure out something about other masks and vanishes again. That was yesterday, and I'm done with this twi tw twiddling my thumbs and writing letters to myself. We're leaving come sunrise, and if he shows up again, I promise Azora I'm putting a dagger through his chest <laughs> and keeping him in one place. We'll pull a lot more loot off him dead than, 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 he, could pay, than, than he could have paid us alive, but not the mask. That cursed thing can stay and rot with him, and the trolls right here. Okay. So, um, and so first of all, I want to point out back a back a second ago when he's talking about him being invisible, he said, um, I'd seen cloaks do invisibility before. Uh, I've always wondered if that's a nod to Harry Potter, of course, with the invisibility cloak. So yeah, it definitely seems like he came back. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, um, and this is a skeleton, and and there is an orcish dagger sticking out of out of his heart region through his ribs. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, here is this wooden mask in his right hand. Oh yeah, and a quill. Okay. So I took the mask. Let's go into my apparel. Oh my gosh, so much apparel. Okay, here we are. Wooden mask. The wooden mask hums with an unfamiliar energy. And 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 it is, yeah. It looks it's your average dragon priest mask, but it's just wood, and it's kind of got like a bit of like a fire cloak on it. Let's put it on, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. Um the whole screen went black and we opened back up. Ladies and gentlemen. We are in our current location, but probably 4,000 years ago, I don't know. This, this whole building is clean. It's clean and it's lit up with fire. Nothing's in ruins. The door's locked. I can't get out. There are urns and chests. Nothing in them. I wonder if stuff is safekeeping in here. I should look that up. But yeah, right, right in front of us, that shrine that was in ruins before. Oh, it's not in ruins now. It looks brand new. And these little dragon priests. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. These um, these are busts. And there's eight of them. We have Volsung, Vokun, Otar, Morokai, Ragget, Nakrin, Hevnorak, and Croesus. <gasps> Wait, I'm wearing one. Who am I wearing? I'm wearing Croesus, where I get lockpicking, archery, and alchemy are 20% better. Activate Croesus's bust. Ah, yeah, and my mask popped onto his face. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that is so cool, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is one of those things that is really cool because, because yeah, this mask has time traveling abilities which is insane 
I, I can see sacrificial tables outside. But, okay, okay, yeah. We've... We have had enough in this place. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, this is just so cool. Just, just, just being in this room. In, I'm, I mean, this is definitely in, in, in the Marithic era. You know, this definitely has to be in the first era. But all right. Oh wait, no, hang on, no. I want to take Croesus back. Give me Croesus. There we go. I took Croesus back. Okay, yep. Let me put Croesus back on. Which should... Yep, okay, yep, the room's fading away. And here we are, we are back in the ruins. With Lydia! It'd be really cool if Lydia commented on that, like, Whoa, what just happened? But alright, that's enough. That's enough messing around there. Let's get on to... The next awesome mystery of this place. And is it right here? So I come out of that meeting area, and there's kind of a stone building here. What is this? I'm look. I want Shalador's maze. Oh, there's a doorway here. Oh, okay. No, it's it's nothing. It's just a oh a garnet and gold in that one. Trying to think, which could be dangerous. Uh, here's a chest. Ooh, a gold emerald ring. That, that's awesome. Shalador's maze. The entrance has to be around here somewhere. Okay, maybe, maybe this is it. There, there's another uh, little room area. It has two of the ancient Nordic faces on it. Ooh, these are some big doors. Okay, this might be it. Shalador's Maze. That's it. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yep, there you go. So, in the loading screen, it just showed the whole Dragon Priest shrine that we saw a little bit ago. And, and yeah, and it said that that stuff dates back to the first era. Alright, so it's kind of quiet here. Ooh, this is pretty. So, so there's a very nice stone tile floor here. And the game is rendering as I move. Well, that's cool. <laughs> um, I feel like waving flags. Okay, so yeah, I think there's supposed to be a mountainous background, but the game is not rendering that far in the distance, so it's just the sky. There are lit torches, some trees, and a little flower garden in the middle. There's There are stairs up on either side of me. Where did the... I, I'm, I'm just going with the stairs. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad that some music's back. I was... Oh... And there's a word. Okay, so 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 yeah, like I'm, I'm I'm up on this I'm up on this walkway. I see the maze, and then there's a word wall in the distance. I'm running across the top just to get just like a look. It looks like it looks like I can walk around the maze to get to the word wall. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just proceed on through and see what happens. Yeah, um, I believe I've watched other YouTubers um, um, or other Let's Plays do Shadow Doors Maze, but I don't believe I ever did it myself. Is this a dead body? Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, ooh, stuff that's coming up out of the ground. It's it, There are two staffs, four staffs. They're floating. <laughs> okay, yeah, there there is this little stage thing here, and there's a desecrated corpse with a note and a soul gem. Desecrated corpse. No, it says burnt corpse. And then I have four floating staves. Awesome. And then the entrance to the maze, of course. Can I just... I'm really curious. Can I just run around? Okay, yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, I can run past everything. Um, The entire maze 
is encased in this stone wall. Oh yeah, I can, yeah, I can run right up to the word wall. And it's calling to me. What'd I get? Word of power learned. Fear, dismay. Okay, well that's pretty cool. And then yeah, um, and then that's the exit of Shalador's maze. But okay, so yeah, I guess if you wanted to skip the maze and just go right through it, this this walkway I'm walking through though, it's um it's got little benches, it's well lit up by torches, and it's got flowers everywhere, and and of course the still like stone tile. You know what? For being from the first era, Labyrinthian is very well preserved. Oh well, yeah, no, okay, no, um, um, Shalador made this, and so, so I guess how old is Shalador? Okay, so what do we have here? Um, um, uh, um, I couldn't immediately find anything, um, on on Shalador's maze, but uh, um, but I did find one redditor who said he found Shalador's maze after one thousand nine hundred hours of playing. <laughs> But, you know what, though? I swear, I mean, if, if I didn't see Sh um, Shalador's maze in YouTube videos, I probably wouldn't know about it either. All right, so let's just soul gem and read tattered note. Oh, 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 okay. Enter twice, exit only once. Alteration will lead you to destruction. Only illusion shows you the way to restoration. Conjuration not, but be conjured instead. Okay, so these are instructions. Enter twice, exit only once. Alteration will lead. Alteration will lead you to destruction. Only illusion shows you the way to restoration. Conjure not, but be conjured instead. Okay, I'm glad I dumped all my books, because I'm going to probably need to... Oh, I can take this. Staff of Repulsion. Staff of Mage Light. Staff of Fear. Staff of Firebolt. So yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah. I, I assume I gotta use all these. Alright, well here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're entering into the maze. Oh. Activate Sigil of Alteration. Okay, so I click on it, nothing happens. Um, what is... What falls under Alteration Magic? Is that Mage Light? Yeah, that's Mage Light. Um, where is the Staff of Mage Light? Okay, so yeah, by cow. Oh gosh, I cast Staff of Mage Light, and uh, and 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 it opened up the first gate, but now it says there are enemies in here. It's very tight. Oh, oh my gosh, and the, and and these little red enemy balls are are going everywhere on my compass really fast, and these stone walls in this maze are very tall, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! Oh my gosh, they're they. <laughs> They're just skeevers. Oh my gosh. Oh. And they die in one hit of my fireball. <laughs> oh, I was so scared there. Okay. We're making our way on through the maze. These stone walls are huge. I mean, they aren't huge, but I certainly can't jump over them. They're very tight. Another skeever. Oh. Come on. There we go. I just blast them with this fireball. Okay. Oh, wait a second. What did the note say? Alteration will lead you to destruction. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Am I supposed to use... Okay, yeah, yeah, no. I'm supposed... I think I'm supposed to use my destruction staff to kill these skeevers. Staff of Firebolt. Okay. Oh. So on the corner here, I have open shutter. It doesn't look like anything. What? Oh, I, I can like see through. Can I shoot? Okay, like, I can see through another thing in the far side. Okay, hang on. Does this go around? 
This is very hard to explain, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay, so yeah, like that opens up there. Um, I I can open up shutters on the corner, and I can see through. Oh lord. So I just opened up another shutter to to allow me to see deeper into the maze, and there's blood. <laughs> oh, that's great. So I assume I got to find another skeever to use my. My my staff of fireballs. Okay, I'm at the blood place now in the maze. Open shutter again. Oh my gosh, what the freak is that? Oh, uh, is this like it's it's the zombie head? Oh good lord, it's this. It's not a zombie head. It's this very. What do you call this? Um, a very um. Decomposed head. With a coin sticking out of its mouth. This is a wonderful sight. Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. When did that happen? What if that was like just now, ladies? I'm, I mean, there's still blood everywhere. So it was probably in the not too distant past. Open this shutter. Open up these. Oh, opening up these shutters is so creepy. Okay, so I found a skeleton that has been torn to bits, and there's blood everywhere. What's that noise? Are those more skeevers? Alright, there are more shutters. Oh, that looks like the center of the maze in that shutter. Then what's out this one? Going back out the maze? It says it and it said enter twice, exit once. The those actually sounded like Draugr earlier. And I'm just proceeding on through. I haven't seen anything yet. Oh! I've opened this shutter before. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, because I'm already I'm going deeper in. I opened it from from the outside and I'm on the inside now. Uh oh. Oh no! <gasps> I see what this is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm at I'm at this destruction sigil on the wall. I cast fireball at it and the floor drops out. Alright, yeah, we gotta go down in. But I can harvest he the 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 um this hanging moss though. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're now down, and this is definitely a Nordic crypt. Oh my gosh, I just jumped. Okay, I think is conjuration gonna save us next? Affects undead. I feel like that's a restor staff of. Fear. I have fear and repulsion. Uh, illusion's probably fear. Which means repulsion is conjuration. What in my tattered notes said? Okay, so alteration will lead you to destruction. Okay, yeah. Um, now it says only illusion... Shows the way to restoration. Okay, so I think I need my staff of fear and conjure. Conjure not, but be conjured. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I have a. Okay, so I think. So I don't think I have a conjuration staff. I have fear, which is illusion, and then I have repulsion, which is a restoration? I don't know. It says, I think it says illusions next. There's a conjuration sigil on the wall, though. Oh, this is another trap door. Maybe when it says enter twice, it means there are two entrances. Okay. I was walking down a hall, and it just... And this... And this room just rolled up like an elevator. <laughs> okay, well that's fun. 
There's a conjuration sigil on the wall, though. I don't think I have a staff that does conjuration. Let's try repulsion. What does this staff do? Nothing. It says conjure not, but be conjured, so... I don't know. But I believe illusion... Illusion's next. Yeah, um, only illusion shows the way to restoration, okay. Okay, well, we're gonna go in the elevator room. And it's a spiral staircase. We're going up. With the beautiful outside music. This is going way up. I think the game is confused between inside and outside. Because we keep on starting outside music. What? What? Okay, la la ladies and gentlemen. So I walked up here. And I spin around and my entrance is gone. Is that what this was? Was this the elevator room? Wait a second. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. But no. No, 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 no. Hang on. The word wall. I'm back on the outside of the maze. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I did not... What did I do wrong? Did I mess up? Okay, I'm back at the entrance. Okay, I'm back at the entrance. Uh, staff of fireballs. Or fi firebolt fireball. Okay, I'm, I'm running back through. There's my dead skeevers. Ooh! Oh. There's charcoal in this shutter. So yeah, sure. Take charcoal. Okay. Open up this shutter. What is this? There's something there, but I can't grab it. Oh. Scroll of Mage Light. What is all this? Lesser soul gem? Now, now these shutters are, are like filled with stuff. Alright, the other skeever. We're running through. Alright, we're at some more shutters. Yeah, these are the ones that I've already opened up. And then there's... Scary dead man with the... Okay, and that's the exit right there. I opened up a shutter and I can see the outside. Yeah, yeah, yep, and then I go through there, and that's Scary Dead Man. Only illusion can show you the way to restoration. Take gold. So, yeah, I took gold out of the... Out of the severed head's mouth. <laughs> okay. Running back through. The skeleton doesn't really appear like there's anything really, um... <laughs> this music is so funny. I feel like there has to be parts of this of this maze that are classified as 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 indoor ancient Nordic ruin, which triggers that song, like like the spooky song, and then parts are outside, which triggers the outside music, and then when it gets confused, it just says nothing, and then we're sitting in silence right now. I'm back to where I started, and then we fall through. Okay, so it says conjure but not be conjured. Can I go out this way? Okay. Illusion shows the way to restoration. What if I put my staff of fear on the conjuration sigil? No. I shot a thing at the door. There, and that's outside music again. 
Okay, yeah, here's this. <clears throat> we got the elevator room. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, so I walk straight out into this water pit. And I turn around and it's gone! <gasps> no! Exit twice... No, Lee, enter twice, exit once. Okay, okay, no, okay. Okay, so so on this other side with the ward wall, this isn't an exit, this is another entrance. Okay, yeah, 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 let's go in here. Okay, yeah, yep, 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 and I have another locked gate. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I need to zap this thing, but my staff has insufficient charge. Fine. Um, charge it. Okay, yeah, I hit the sigil of illusion. Now we're in again. We're in on the other side. And I'm opening up shutters again. Wonder what I'm going to hit on this side. Probably some more enemies of some sort. Just quickly making my way on through the maze. Opening up these shutters as I go along. I, I don't understand, though. Some had, like, like charcoal? One had a plant that I couldn't pick up. Oh, I did see one thing, though. Yeah, I used my Staff of Illusion on this skeever, and it's running away! It's running away from me. A horker tusk. Cool. Oh, I killed that skeever now. <laughs> uh, bloody rags. Do I gotta pick the, these things up? I don't know. I couldn't pick up that that bloody head skull. That genuinely freaked me out. Um, bent scrap dwarven metal. Fine. <laughs> I, I I don't know what any of this is. But yeah, I could not pick up that plant. Oh, but yeah, when I was looking up Shalador's Maze, just to see how old it was, I was seeing people state that Garnet, Amethyst, Emerald, that's cool. I was seeing people state that there's a bug in this, in this maze. So I hope I don't encounter that. But even though this is Skyrim Special Edition... Oh, and um, it's an Ice Wraith! Oh my gosh! Quick save! Big time. Okay. Let me get Addy out here. I hope Addy's able to help me here. Good. Addy and I killed him together. Um, but yeah, like this is Skyrim Special Edition. I would think that the ice that that the ice wraiths. I would think whatever potential bug would be fixed. Okay, here's a here's a skeleton with a conjuration book on him. What is this? Liminal bridges. Conjuration increased. And so did my whatever. My, I'm level 21 now. We are level 21, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is about traveling between Mundus and Oblivion. That sounds like a pretty interesting book. A pretty interesting text. <clears throat> Ooh, a Centurion Dynamo Core in that shutter, and a flute. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then nothing in that one. I sure hope I'm not supposed to be remembering what these are. Ooh, a Spell Tome Heal Other. Yeah, I'll take that. Addy's gone. Okay, so this is my second entrance, because it says exit twice only. Enter twice, exit once. I think... Aha, here we are. Okay, Sigil of Restoration. Yeah, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm over the other one now. Which staff have I not used yet? Staff of Repulsion. There we go. And it opens up to the floor below. 
Ow. <gasps> okay, now? Now, of course, the other side is on the other side because we've entered this room twice now on two different sides, but this time in the middle, there's a giant orb thing. To trial of conjuration. Okay. Whoa, my goodness. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just quick saved. I'm fireballing this guy. <gasps> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. I just... Good gracious, alive. Okay, I'm, I'm back out at the entrance now. The maze is gone. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's not. The maze is still here. Jeez, this guy. Okay, uh, it, it's a Dramora with a massive sword. That is what that is. <laughs> and, 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 and he has three Flame Atronachs as well. Oh, crap. Well, I have a Flame Atronach of my own, buddy. And you better not turn mine against me. Okay, yeah, yep, we killed him. Lydia's here. Search a Dwarven Greatsword, a Daedra Heart, and Diadem of the Savant. Ooh, spells in all schools cost less magica. Oh, that's amazing. That has to be my reward right there. Did I win? I was definitely in some realm of oblivion there. But, but then no. Well, I mean, like, I tabbed. I tabbed to change weapons. I'm collecting fire salts off these flame atronachs. Um, I tabbed to change weapons, and when I tabbed, it made me leave. So, so, did I win? I think I won. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, whatever I got here, though, th this is, um, yeah, yeah. This diadem, spells in all schools cost less magicka. That, that is a crazy unique item. That is really cool. And actually, yeah, you know what? Why not? I'm just going to throw that sucker right on. Let's just wear that. Okay. Yeah, um um I'm 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 kind of confused. Um I um I, I am only confused because um because I left that like realm of oblivion when I tabbed out. And um when I pushed tab. So I'm not sure if I was supposed to stay there longer or if or if that was it. But I mean, um um that diadem is a really great item so so i think that's it i think i won but 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 though like after i get done with this though i think i will just like check up uh i will look up the quest just to make sure i didn't i, I just to make sure i didn't miss anything and if i did miss anything um and we can race on back through again and um and do whatever still needs to be done but yeah we'll do that in the next episode ladies and gentlemen and and, and then in the next episode, I think we are going to actually enter Labyrinthian to, to continue our quest to find the Staff of Magnus. But yeah, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you enjoyed, and I really hope that you enjoyed our, our little jaunt on through Shalador's Maze here. This was really cool. It was something I, I have never done before. And yes, I am Mr. Navens, and I will see you in the next one.